Hey guys, Smoo here. Um, me and Whitney just watched a movie, Stranger Than Paradise. It was Jim Jarmusch's first film, got him a lot of attention at different film festivals, uh, made him the director he is now. Uh, basically, um, film is this, is this, you know, this cultural study about this Hungarian guy in Chicago, I can't remember, New York, wherever, um, and he has to take, he has to give uh, his cousin a place to stay for about 10 days from Hungary. And his cousin uh, comes in, she has a really boring time. And that's pretty much the movie. It's about her relationship with her cousin in America. And, and um, it's really cool. Uh, it has this very gritty uh, look to it with the cameras and, every, and the lighting and everything. But it has this very distinct, manipulated noir feel to it, I feel, like the shadows and everything. Really, really cool. Um, Cinematography is really cool. I guess that whole Kubrickian thing. Uh, I don't know if Kubrick invented the wide angle shot like a lot of people act like, but you know, uh, the wide angle shot. Uh, and he has these one shot scenes of dialogue, and the and he makes America look very claustrophobic and uh, and very tight. There's this part where they're at the ocean in Florida, and it still looks very small, very uh, you know. Like they're trapped in America, pretty much. John Lurie's performance as Willie is amazing. Um, it's like this sub Brando type thing. I love it. Um, all the actors know what they're doing, and uh, maybe it's very slow paced, but the film uh, just very a lot of very good dialogue, just scenes of dialogue, mundane dialogue. Um, uh, but the film blacks out uh, regularly, so it gives the movie a good, you know, episodic feel, feel to it. Um, I tried to make a video about Jim Jarmusch a while ago when I was doing my Pulp Fiction review. Um, but I was always stoned and it didn't come out right. Uh, what I think uh, uh, Jim Jarmusch does better than Quentin Tarantino, what I was trying to say, is that Quentin Tarantino, what he does is he finds alternate execution for, uh, for, uh, for cliché characters and cliché plot devices, and he finds a way to, uh, put them around in a different order so they pace better. Uh, that's pretty much all he does. Uh, Jim Jarmusch, his, uh, his take on, uh, on the whole, uh, uh working within the con confines of a movie mishmash like that, say a movie like Ghost Dog, with, um, he's just mixing hip-hop and in Japanese culture, uh, it's very, uh, uh, he, uh, he, he forces himself pretty much, he, he makes a, a script that relies on original characters within these movie mismatches. He tries to do things that don't really go well together, but it works, and it, it works, uh, and it feels like a gym, it, Quentin Tarantino feels like a ripoff to me for some reason. But that's what I've really got to say about it. Um, there's some great dialogue, um, like, just about where they're eating a TV dinner. And she says, hey, where does the meat come from in your TV dinner? And he says, I guess it comes from a cow. I thought that was cool. Uh, really, a lot of great dialogue. The ending could have been uh, drawn out a little bit, but it was it has an effective ending. So, yeah, Stranger in Paradise.